Millions of birds around the world have been dying of something they call the avian flu, but you might know it better as the bird flu. Last month, the first cases were reported in the US on a duck farm in California. Here's what you need to know. This year, the number of birds getting infected with the virus is much higher than normal. Health experts think that might be because there's a new, stronger version of the virus. Wild birds can usually carry the virus and show no signs of being sick. But when birds like chickens, turkeys, or ducks get the disease, they usually end up dying. The biggest impact of the bird flu on people right now is eggs. The more chickens that have bird flu, the less eggs there are in grocery stores. So if you're at the store, you might see the egg shelves empty, and if there are eggs, the prices are gonna be way higher than normal. Some restaurants are even charging extra because of the shortage. Now you might be wondering, is there any way other animals or even humans like us can get the bird flu? The short answer is yes. There have been cases of people getting the bird flu, but it's pretty rare. And it's important to know that the Center for Disease Control says the risk for humans is still very low right now. There have been some cases of cows in the US being affected, which can happen if they're in close contact with sick birds. Most human cases of the bird flu only happen after someone is in direct contact with an infected bird, close enough that they're touching their feathers or cleaning up after them. Scientists and the federal government have been working together for the past few years to develop a vaccine for the bird flu, specifically for the strain that's most commonly found in the US. 